When it comes to hockey, fans have seen quite a lot of powerful users of this ability in one piece. This spiritual power exists within everyone, but not all of them can tap into it, and even those who do, cannot make the best use of it. This ability is wielded by the most powerful individuals in the latter part of the Grand Line, but, most of them also have Devil Fruit abilities. There are only a handful of individuals who do not possess Devil Fruits and are masters of hockey at the same time. So, watch the video till the end to see, which character takes first place. Number 3. Zoro. Swordsman of the Straw Hats. Just to trick me! Ugh, have you got brain worms or something? That's the wrong way. Zoro is the swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates and certainly a very powerful individual. He wields three swords in battle, and his aim is to become the world's strongest swordsman. Zoro is incredibly powerful, and he has the ability to utilize all three types of hockey. Zoro is specifically good at utilizing armament hockey, he also has control over advanced conquerors hockey. However, Zoro's control over this power is very limited and he can only channel it for a few minutes. If Zoro makes use of it for longer, he's likely to lose his life, which makes him a somewhat average user of conquerors hockey so far. Still, he is very powerful, given that only a handful of the strongest can even utilize this ability in the first place. Hmm. Yada! Number 2. Monkey D. Gar, the hero of the Marines. When it comes to hockey, few individuals are as good as Gar. The old Vice Admiral might be beyond his prime right now, but, back in his younger days, Garp was a monster capable of going head to head with Roger. These two individuals have come close to killing each other on many occasions, and that just goes to show how special they truly are in terms of hockey usage. Garp is a user of all three types of hockey, with his armament and conquerors being advanced to a great degree. Garp can blow up a small town with his conqueror's hockey punch, and he was disappointed with his output on Hachinosu due to his aging body, which implies that in his prime, he could blow up islands with his hockey punches. Before moving on to number 1. Please like the video, today's like goal is 20. Number 1. Shanks, the red-haired emperor. The red-haired emperor, Shanks is easily one of the strongest hockey users that fans have seen in one piece. He is currently in his prime, which means that his hockey is at its peak as well. Shanks is a monster in combat, and his hockey is such that he can channel it from miles away. With a single strike of his hockey-based attack, even a 3 billion pirate and kid, as well as his right-hand man, Killer, can be taken down. What's incredible is that this is only a glimpse of his strength and he has not shown what he is truly capable of just yet. I have uploaded a best fights of Sanji. Also the best moments of Nami and Luffy together. Click here and watch the video. And that's it for today folks, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like the video, share with One Piece fans, and most importantly, subscribe.